I'm Ultra Zilla, and today I have a review of the Diamond Select Toys, Avatar The Last Airbender, Ang. All right, my zillions, I found this guy at Walgreens this past weekend. Uh, and I was pretty excited to, to find it because I was a big fan of the first season of The Last Airbender here. Um, and I did watch the M. Night movie, and that's all I'll say about it. I did watch it. Uh, but I was a fan of the first season of this. It's the only season I watched. Uh, so I was definitely interested in at least getting this one figure. But I have forgotten that DST was even putting these out. I didn't pre-order them as one of those things where I was like, eh, maybe. But when I saw it just sitting there at Walgreens, I was like, scoop it up. Let me get it. I believe it was $16.99. Let's get into the review. And comes with this little display stand. It says Vicom on there, DST. You could pop them in there, like so. That's pretty cool. And comes with a staff weapon. Uh, this part is actually kind of like greenish. And this is gray. I don't know how well that's coming off on the camera. I think it's coming off fine. Uh, it holds it well. Just done in a very simple plastic. Nothing crazy here, but it works for his staff. Articulation, head is on a ball joint. Then you got the body here also. They're probably on a ball joint of some sort. Works well. Hinge, swivel at the shoulder. Single hinge at the elbow, but you can swivel as well. Hinge, swivel at the wrist. Legs, you could get one side going out, but this side, not so hot. These uh, hips are a little problematic. They're these like, you know, old style hips like that. Um, and going forward and back on them, yeah, I cannot do it. Even with heat, I don't know if it's even supposed to move, but I can't get it to move too much back and forward. That's a bit of a bummer. You got thigh articulation, double jointed knee. I would suggest heating this guy up too, by the way. I, I did. Um, then the hinges at the foot. This one's a little stuck. This one works fine, but they do scare me a little bit uh, in terms of possible breakage and you can rock it a little bit. So uh, it's not like super, super articulated, but it's articulated enough, I'd say. Proportions are pretty cool. I, I like it. I think the head being big works for this character. If you watch the uh, show, you know, like I think it's it's fine. Um, it doesn't look bad to me in those terms. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all as far as the look of Ang. A close look. Let me point out something that's n not so hot on my particular figure. Um, the mouth kind of looks like they f forgot to like, um, finish it off on one side. It's hard to tell here. Uh, maybe if I turn out one light. Yeah, there we go. So you can see um, the mouth is carved out, but then right there, right on this side, like, eh, it's not. <laughs> so that's a bit of a bummer. It is carved out there. That's, I feel like that's an easy fix. Maybe just a little exacto knife it, you know, very slightly, and then uh, go into it with, like, little bit of color and that should help it out so yeah it is what it is um what are you gonna do uh otherwise the paint is okay on the face not so bad you can see on the uh one of the eyes there the black kind of goes down a little bit but otherwise i feel like the paint is fine the blue uh tattoo is good all around little arrows i think they work fine there and then um here you got the orange and the maroon sashes and they're sculpted well. You see nice folds and wrinkles, especially in the shoulder. Uh, I didn't mention it uh, during articulation. I should have. You are a little bit hindered here. A lot of bit hindered. But then again, you can at least go upwards that way. You know, a lot more than you would think. So it's soft, but it's not super soft. Um, but it looks good. It definitely looks good. Lots of nice folds and wrinkles in the pants as well. And then the boots look pretty nice. The paint down the center, uh, down to the feet are clean. So, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the parts where I really would worry, you know, is the face. Uh, but the paint for the most part, especially when you look at it normally. I had it on like super zoom before. 
I couldn't even tell that there was that, you know, like, let's go in again. Was it dirt? Because <laughs> now it's gone. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, it runs a little bit like mascara on the bottom of this eye, but it was worse before. Uh, a little dust, I guess, more than anything. So, okay, so uh, it's a good thing I went into it again because the paint is better than I even said before. For your size comparisons, here he is with the Dino Charge Red Ranger, Mythic Legion's Warrior, Doctor Doom, Ra's al Ghul. I really like how these guys look together. Nozilla, Tiger Mask, and Jushin Thunder Liger. And my final thoughts. Uh, I'm really glad to have an Ang in my collection. I think DST did it well. It looks the part. Uh, I'm very happy with that. It's a good looking figure. Very, very, very minor complaints when it comes to any of the looks department but you know the the one complaint i do have is those hips um I'm, you know i'm a little bummed i can't really do much with them uh, i don't know if that's universal or, uh, or if it's just my copy but it is a bummer at the end of the day he still uh can get in a bunch of poses and i'm happy about that so he'll look good on the shelf. So there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what I do. Become a zillion today. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.